Hello everybody, this is Mike1217, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. And I, I'm gonna, I just opened up the red pearl, which, which by the way, we opened up before we got the blue one, which is weird, because you, you usually open the blue one first. But anyway, uh, we just opened up the red portal, and we've gotten to the boss door, however we don't have the boss key. And I'm actually going to exit the dungeon now, and trust me, there is a good purpose for this. It's not just stupid side quest shit. Um, there, there is, this is something you definitely need to remember to do. And something I haven't actually discussed, and that is that you can actually switch your bomb types from remote bombs to normal bombs. And you may be wondering why in the world do you ever want to do that, because, you know, the, the remote bombs seem to be all around superior to the regular bombs, right? Well, there's one thing that the regular bombs can do that the remote bombs cannot do. And that is explode in the air. And that's something that we're going to be needing to do in one of the rooms in the second half of the dungeon. And I, I guess I shouldn't say second half. I, I would say that we're more than halfway through it. But uh, we do need to switch our remote bombs to normal bombs, and what we have to do is go to this Minish here, who actually sold us our original bombs, and he also gave us our remote bombs. So you can actually switch them back. And um, after I'm done with the room that you need normal bombs in, I'll come back here and switch back to my remote bombs, because I am going to be using my remote bombs against some mini-bosses. But uh, you'll see exactly why I need these pretty soon, actually. I think the first room that we'll be going into once we continue the dungeon. Which, by the way, I'll meet you at. So, yeah. Okay, we are back in the Red Portal room. And we have these split paths. We have a door to the right, door to the left. I usually... I, I don't think... I'm not sure if it matters or not. I'm just gonna go left first. I, I always do. This, we have a big door that closes right here, and we go up here, and this is this is the room that I was talking about, where you need the normal bombs right away. But first, before I mess with that, I'll show you exactly why we need them. We also have those bombs over there that we don't need to worry about at all. I don't even know why they're over there, because they don't cause any trouble. Uh, first of all, what you need to remember to do first is to use Rock's Cape to get up to these to this area and uh, hit these two switches and that makes the door up there open up so remember to do that first but in order to get to that door we have bombable blocks and in order to blow those up you need to throw a bomb at it to uh, to explode it and you may think well why can't you just place a bomb on that moving platform well because you can't you just flat out can't do it like it won't work so you have to actually pick up the bomb and time it to where it blows up in the air. You can't do this with remote bombs. Like, you might think you can, like, throw it and then press the button really quickly. But no, that's not how it works. And this takes... Just, you just gotta keep trying. I don't... I can't tell you how to time this. I would say once the bomb starts to actually, like, jiggle... Oh, man, I gotta get closer. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty ugly. Yeah, just keep trying. Eventually you'll get it. Glad we got the up- There we go, that was nice. Alright, so keep going. Yeah, that's one of the harder rooms in the dungeon. And once I get the chance, I'll go back and switch back the, to my remote bombs. Right now, I don't really care. I, I think pretty soon we're gonna unlock the uh, blue portal, and you can get a bunch of- This is a great place to fairy grind, that's for sure. Um, so let's go north here. I think this is where we want to go. No, shit, we have a dark nut, and I don't have remote bombs to fight him with, so I'm gonna fight him this way, I guess. Oh yeah, I have full health now. I can just kind of push him. Eh, well, never mind. He still, he still blocks your beams with the sword. Uh, I'm trying to think of other good ways to fight these guys. Another good way, I mean, you're, you're gonna take a lot of damage by doing this, but another decent way is to just kind of use... Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I found this to be useful before, though, using your, uh, your dash attack, but apparently it's not working too well here. I might try my spin, to my, uh, great spin attack. I wonder how much damage that, that did. Is that too... Like, I never pay attention to how much damage enemies do to me. 
but this guy seems to be pretty easy. He seems to be pretty aggressive on it. Nobody get a lot of shots in on him. Um, I don't know which Dark Nuts, like, are the strongest. Um, I mean, in pretty soon we'll be in rooms where there are multiple Dark Nuts of like, of like different colors, and we'll notice that that uh, one type of color will go down faster than the other one. So I don't know what the ranking is. I might have to look that up. I, mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And there's the blue portal. So what I'm actually gonna do, and after you kill that Dark Knight, and um, all these other rooms around here will get their own Dark Nuts. And we're gonna have to be fighting all of these, and I'll show you exactly why we're gonna have to be fighting these in a second. First, let's go through this. I'm gonna go get the remote bombs, and I should meet you right back here. So, yep, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, we are back in the blue room, and after defeating the Dark Knight in this room, we've made uh, Darkness appear in multiple rooms, and this is um, kind of our dilemma here. That big chest up there is the big key, and the only way to get to that is to push this big block out of the way. You can see we can split off right here. However, we see, see these blocks with keyholes on them. We saw these in the Royal Crypt. And we need to come back here with the four keys. And that is what those dark nuts are about. Once you defeat those dark nuts, you'll be taken to different rooms that lead to keys. So that is our objective for the rest of the temple, is to uh, collect four keys and then eventually push that block out of the way to get to the, big, the boss key. And that'll be it. So we just gotta navigate our way, our way around. right first. I don't really know if there's like an order you do this in. And right away we have two Dark Nuts and these rooms vary as you saw with the cutscene. Uh, some rooms have two Dark Nuts, some have one. They also seem to vary in color. Like we have a green one and a red one. A red one. And I'm, I'm so bad at pronunciation. My pronunciation is so bad right now. It's ridiculous. My R's are terrible today for whatever reason. I'm pronouncing them as W's. I'm getting a lot of green kinstone from these guys. So yeah, once you defeat those, the big door opens so you can go through that. And these will eventually lead to a key, but they're not going to give it to you that easily. You have to go through, you typically have to go through a really annoying room. This one really sucks. I hate this room. Okay, so hopefully this door is safe enough. Okay, so... Uh, you need to go around in a circle around this room and light all these torches, and yet, and this is timed, so uh, you can't just kind of dick. You can't dick around here. You have to be really quick about this. Oh crap! 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 Oh wow! Uh, that that can be pretty tough. Um, I'm surprised I got that in the first try. And this should lead to the key. No, there's more. Okay, you have to take out these. Now, this room here, I believe there's like three of these are fake. There's only like one real ghost here. Ow! Oh, get the hell off me. I should actually use my spin attack here. That's usually pretty effective in this room. I have not... Wow. Usually when I do this, I take the correct one out pretty quickly. I don't know how you tell, either. And this is kind of like in uh, Ocarina of Time, where you fight that mini-boss in the Forest Temple. And you have to kill the correct ghost. So, is this the key? No, gotta keep going, I guess. There's the key, right there. So yeah, this is what what this part of the dungeon's like. You go to a room, fight Dark Nuts, and then it open a door, and then you have to do some kind of trial, and then you get a key. That's basically the gist of it. So, let's go back out. And... I guess I can cut the backtracking out, but you know what? This is the end of the game, and this is awesome music, so who cares? Okay, so we can use our rock's cape to jump up. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, we haven't really used the gust jar that much recently, ha have we? Um, like, we didn't even use it that much in the Palace of Winds. And the last time we used it frequently was in the Temple of Droplets, but we haven't used it that much in the last couple of dungeons. So. That, as well as the uh, Cane of Packy, that hasn't been used that much either. 
Yeah, but you can see how 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 awesome your mobiles are. You stun them, you get damage on them as you hit them, and then you can get a couple sword slices in. It's really nice. And then also, whenever you collide your swords with them, you, you uh, they'll be stunned for a little bit as well. So very nice, very nice. Ah, crap. Um, what's this? Okay, so we have a cross-shaped thing of switches, so... Just gotta carefully never I, I don't think this is too bad. I don't remember this being too bad. In fact, you can actually just use, like... You may think you have to use, like, to put two links on both panels here, but you can really just do something like this. It doesn't really matter what formation you use here. I like to use a smaller one to make it easier for me to get through the fire sticks. So yeah, you don't have to have that big. In fact, we have a good opportunity here. Alright, that's nice. We just keep swinging. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's a little bit tricky. Maybe I'll go for, like, a T-shape? I don't know. Yeah, let's go for a T-shape. Again, it doesn't really matter that much. I want to have my solid link out in front, though. So this might work. This way I might be able to fit. <laughs> See, I'm trying to, like, squeeze them in. Okay, crap. How am I gonna do this? A, cro a cross isn't gonna work. Maybe like a square or something? Hmm. Okay, let's figure this out together. But I don't remember how I did this last time. Oh, shoot. I, I don't know, I'm just trying random crap right now. I really don't know. Um, okay, this looks like it might work. There we go, okay. Yeah, just try random stuff, eventually it'll work. <laughs> kind of like that other room with the blade that we had to navigate through. Okay, uh, if you fall down, uh, the room below is just Gibdos, so it's just a trap in case you fall. So there's nothing down there, and then that this doorway is just your way back up. So, yeah. Don't fall down here. <laughs> just don't do it. I think there's another room like that, too, in a different spot of the dungeon. So, all we gotta do is go up and get our key. And that's key number two. Two more to go. Okay, so we're back in the middle now, and I guess we just gotta continue on to the left. And we have these to fight, okay. So, we have green and red here. I think that's, I think that's the same combination we had last time, wasn't it? Or, not, probably not last time, but... Couple, the first time we fought these. So, oh that, oh, that one went down really quickly. Wow. Wow, they went down really quickly. What the hell is up with that? Alright. Oh, we have another one of these. We have to get all of the, uh... This is kind of like in... in this, you know, now that I think about it, this, kind of like in uh, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. We have to, um get all the question mark blocks and turn them into exclamation mark blocks and you can't like go back on the uh, panels you previously were on and let's see if I remember how to do this okay, let's do this zigzag okay yeah this isn't too bad because you can't like go back and touch a red one otherwise you turn it back to blue and you'll screw it up if you exit and re-enter so that wasn't too bad. Is there more to this? Yeah, another one of these stupid rooms. I forgot there are two of these. Ah, fuck. I, I, okay, will you let me go? I hate enemy- I, Oh my god. I hate enemies like this. I, I hate enemies like this. Like likes, get- Let me go! Let me go! Oh my god, okay. What the hell was that reaction? I just- freaked out. Like, I was about to... I was about to have my period there. Okay. Well, not my period. What the hell? I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about right now. This place is driving me crazy. Just get out of here. Okay, so... Do I have to go up to that door there? Oh... Yeah, I guess we do. Um, going down probably leads to Gibdos. That's my guess. And yeah, there's okay. I don't even care what's down in the basement. I could not give two shits because I know we have to fight more dark nuts to get to the fourth key. Okay, so we're back in this room where we had the bombs. I'm guessing if we 
keep going ahead, this should lead to the last dark nut. Yep, and it's just a simple red one. Oh, my eyes are lonesome, you don't have any friends. Yeah, I don't understand why they put like one in, in two of the rooms and then two in others. I, are the red ones tougher? That's, that's my assumption. Maybe the red ones are the toughest ones. Then again, the black I think the black... Mm, the black ones might be the toughest ones, I don't know. Who knows? It seems to me the white ones are the the easiest ones. I don't think even met, like like what color the because you notice the white ones there's like they one of them has a green overtone to them and the other one has like a red overtone to them. But they seem to be the same type of strength. Oh, that was nice. I blew it up like right as it landed. This guy's and this guy seems to be quicker and more aggressive. So yeah, I, I guess the red ones are the toughest. I don't know. We will be finding a black one a little bit later on, so maybe I can judge that. But that is our last Dark Nut room, now we just have another trial, I don't know what this is. Let's get rid of the Stalfos, just to get rid of them. Oh my god, Wallmasters. I don't like Wallmasters, I want to get rid of all the enemies, let's just do that first. So they don't take us back, because of course if Wallmasters grab you, they take you back to the beginning, so you don't want that to happen. Let's just focus on these first before we worry about the trial that awaits us here. Let's also get some hearts. We're getting a lot of green kinstones from the enemies, holy crap. We don't need them at all, but I'm still gonna pick them up just for the sake of it. Okay. Oh, I think it, you know, I'm seeing arrows here on here. See, my pronunciation, I have I don't I don't have an R in my pronunciation today. I cannot say the R in any words. Anyway, we have to hit, hit these four switches as fast as possible. So, and then of course, if you see that like, the fire stick will will be on your ass too. And if you wait too long, the eyes will come undone. So, oh, you just have like a nick of time to do that too. Like you just gotta be perfect with this. And try to like snipe them. There you go. Should be quick when you're turning! There we go, nice! I think we have to do that again though, or something similar to that in the next room. Okay, block pushing. Um, shit. I think we just have to drop down. Because there are good builds down here, we don't have to fight them, but then we need to go back up. I want to get my lamp just in case any of these things try to hug me. I do not. I do not want to hug you right now. I do not want to hug you. I am not in a friendly mood. I do not want to hug anyone. Okay, so let's go up. Do we get? Yeah, we get the key up here, and then ah, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the fourth key, and I will see you back at the boss door, and I will take you to the boss, the the chest. So yeah, see you in a bit. Alright, back in this room with all the anti-fairies, let's actually take advantage of these and get a bunch of actual f oh, excuse me, actual fairies out of them. And just go up here, and this is where, oh, well, further north. And this is where that room is, so now we can unlock all of these. And now we can split off and push this block out of the way. I can't believe it, we're just about done, guys. Do you believe it? This has been a... a superb experience of a let's play for me. I really enjoyed this one. I'm gonna kind of miss doing it too. But yeah, I just have one more episode to go. Let's get this boss key and quickly make our way back to the door to end this episode off. And actually, you know, let's just do this. Go to the blue, blue portal because I don't know how, how to get back. And... I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I will see you for the finale of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we will take on the final boss, Vati. See you guys then.